Hey guys, Phil Squad here from Create Effects. Now, Magic Lantern version 2.3 has just been released. This has some great new improvements over the previous version. Some of these improvements include much more responsive and faster zebra stripes, customizable menu and shortcut keys. We now have automatic high dynamic range bracketing for those high dynamic range images. Uh, the time lapse tools have also been improved and we also have much more control over the camera's frame rates and there's also advanced ISO control. Now I'm just going to talk you through how to install this onto your camera and once again this is a very simple six step process. So let's just jump in and I'll show you how to do that. Right, first of all what you want to do is make sure your battery is fully charged and that you remove any accessories from your camera such as a battery grip or external flash or things like that. Once you have done this, you need to upgrade your camera's Canon firmware to the appropriate version for your camera. Now I'm installing this on a Canon 600D, so I know that I need the firmware 1.0.2. Now I will put information in the description area as to which firmware versions you will need for your camera. So just check there and then you'll know which one you need to get. Okay, first of all what you want to do is just turn on your camera. And if you just change that over to manual mode, just make sure it's on the M. And the first thing that you want to do is just go over and format your card. So just do a low level format. And I've just sped this bit up here so you don't have to watch the format taking place or taking too long. And once that's uh, finished, if you just go over and clear the settings, so just click on clear all card settings or all camera settings. And once that's done, if you just turn off your camera and then just remove your card there. Okay, just pop that now into your PC or Mac. If you just wait for that to appear on the desktop. Okay, once it's sort of come up there, you just navigate to your Magic Lantern folder. This is where you would have downloaded the firmware for the Canon that you need to update to. And obviously your Magic Lantern firmware as well. If you now just copy the required version you need to update to, so it's the Canon, the sort of latest Canon version. And if you just copy that now to the root directory of your card. If you now just eject your card, you can once again just put your card back into your camera and then just uh, turn the camera back on. Okay, so what we're going to do now is just go to the firmware version and you now just want to update your Canon firmware. Okay, so this just launches the firmware update program. Okay, so once that loads, it's just going to ask you or confirm, you know, which version you want to update to. So if you just follow that along and I've just sped this up, it normally takes a lot longer. But there's no point in you watching that happen, so I've just sped it up a little bit. Okay, there it's complete now, so you can just click on OK. And as you can see, it's updated the firmware version there. Okay, so now if you just go and once again format the card, just do a low level format. Okay, and once again, you can just turn off your camera and remove your card once again. Okay, if you just pop that back into your PC or Mac and once again, navigate to that folder. But what you want to do now is just find the Magic Lantern 2.3 version. And inside that folder, you will see quite a few files. If you just copy them all and put them into the root directory of your SD card, just copy that over. If you now just let that copy. Okay, once this is done, you can eject the card again. And once that's ejected, you can just pop that back into your camera.
Just switch your camera back on again as well. If you just go into the menu and go down to your firmware version, if you just follow along the update procedure, you can now see it will launch the update program again. And now it's just updating to Magic Lantern. So you can see there that it's working and the success sign has come up. Okay, so now once that's done, you can just turn off your camera. Just wait a few seconds and just turn it back on. You should now see if you push the trash can once that's loaded, you now have Magic Lantern version 2.3. Thanks for watching, guys. Please leave your comments below. Be sure to follow us on Twitter and the Facebook fan page. See you next time.